Converting between customary units of measure. When we do converting between customary units, there's a few things that we have to remember. We need to remember the conversions or the equalities given in this table. One foot is 12 inches, one yard is 3 feet, one mile is 5,280 feet. Those are essential in order to make the conversions. In general, if we're going from a smaller unit to a larger unit, we're going to divide. And if we're going from a larger unit to a smaller unit, we're going to multiply. So let's take a look at this first one here. 42 feet, and we're going to convert that into yards. Well, we have uh, 42 feet, we have feet and yards. How many feet are in a yard? Well, we know there's three feet in a yard. So to convert that into yards, feet are a smaller unit of measure than yards. So that means we're going to divide. We're going to divide 42 by 3. So we've got 42 divided by 3 which gives us 14. So 42 feet is equal to 14 yards. Okay, let's try this one. Five tons, and we're going to convert that into pounds. Well, over here it says one ton is equal to 2,000 pounds. So if I have five tons, to figure out how many pounds that is, Tons are a larger unit than pounds, so we're going to be multiplying to get to that smaller unit of pounds. We need to multiply by 2,000. So 5 times 2,000, and that gives us 10,000 pounds. Now, a way that you can check yourself here, if we would have gone the other way and we would have divided by 2,000, we would have gotten some very small decimal. And does it make sense that five tons would be equal to a very small decimal number of pounds? No, it really doesn't. So we kind of have that check built in. If we just think about our answer, does it make sense? Same thing here. 42 feet is 14 yards. Well, we know that yards are larger than feet. So we know that there should be a smaller number of yards within 42 feet. Let's take a look at this one. Five point, or excuse me, 4.5 cups, and we want to change that to fluid ounces. Well, one thing that we should notice is that there's ounces in weight and there's ounces in capacity. We need to keep them separate. When we're dealing with fluid ounces, usually we have the FL in there for fluid ounces, and weight is 16 ounces try and keep those uh, it's easy to be confused there remember the weight is 16 the capacity is 8 so this one we're dealing with capacity because we have cups right here cups are a larger unit than ounces so we're going to be multiplying we want to multiply 4.5 by 8 to figure out the number of fluid ounces so 4.5 times 8 going to give us 36. So 4.5 cups is 36 fluid ounces. Again, it makes sense because if we just think about 36 fluid ounces, well, a 20 ounce pop is fairly familiar to us, and one cup is, uh, it would take about, let's see, Eight. It would take two and a half cups to fill a 20 ounce bottle. So it makes sense that four and a half cups would be almost two 20 ounce bottles. Let's take a look at this last one. 12 yards, we're going to convert that to inches. Well, we don't know based on our table how many yards make, or how many inches are in a yard, but maybe we do. Maybe we know. But if we don't, that's okay. We can do it in two steps. So the intermediate between yards and inches is feet. Let's first convert the 12 yards into feet. We know that there's three feet in every yard. So we're going to take 12 times 3 to get 36. 
So we have 36 feet in 12 yards. Then we want to change that 36 feet into inches. We know that there's 12 inches in each foot. So again, we're going to multiply. 36 times 12, which gives us 432. So there's 432 inches in 12 yards. And again, it makes sense because 12 yards, if you are familiar with a football field, the marks on the field, the, the larger marks, are 10 yard distances. And it seems like that would probably be about 400 inches between those um, marks. So that makes sense. If we would have gotten a number much smaller than that, it probably wouldn't have made sense would have gone wrong here. Also, if we knew that, uh, if we knew that 12 yard or that one yard is equal to 36 inches, we could have just multiplied 12 times 36, which is what we ended up doing here, and that would have gotten us our 432 inches as well. All right, so converting customary units, we have to remember these amounts. Most of them aren't too terrible to remember, um, but if you don't uh, remember, you can, can look them up somewhere. But they're not a consistent, there's not a consistent conversion. They're all different. They use different numbers, and that's one of the reasons why there's a push for the metric system which we'll talk about in the next video.